Thank you, Sheena. We want to go back to that story from the beginning of our newscast. A tentative pact reached between the Providence Bus Drivers Union and their bus company, meaning students could have transportation come Monday. Let's go to Caroline Goggin with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Caroline? Members tell us they hope to have these buses back out on the roads by Monday morning, serving the 9,000 students in Providence who have been without transportation during this 11 day strike. But it's all pending a vote by union members tomorrow night on the tentative agreement that was reached this afternoon. Tonight, we know very few details about that agreement. Yes, we did. As day 11 of the Providence school bus driver strike wraps up, a possible breakthrough. We're hopeful that this issue will get resolved and we'll be able to move on. That was early Friday afternoon. Just hours later, we learned of progress. Both the bus drivers union and bus company for a student confirming a tentative agreement has been reached. Oh, it was a decent compromise. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Nick Williams, a business agent for the union, stopped short of saying this agreement includes a pension, which is what has stalled negotiations time and time again. As we've reported, the union was pushing for a pension in its new contract, while First Student said it was only willing to offer a 401k. Frank McMahon, a spokesperson for First Student, confirming to us tonight the agreement is related to a 401k plan. The bus company released this statement Friday night saying the agreement, quote, reflects our joint commitment to providing Providence students and families with safe and reliable school bus transportation. First student is appreciative of Mayor Alorza's and City Council President Salvatore's commitment to bringing both sides to a deal, and we are looking forward to welcoming our drivers back on Monday. The tentative deal was reached Friday afternoon in Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza's office. The mayor saying tonight, quote, I greatly appreciate everyone's collaboration in coming to an agreement that restores transportation for our kids. We'll continue to work to ensure a smooth transition for students affected by the strike. I mean, sometimes it's got to come to this, but we come together afterwards and, um, you know, we're, we're a unit again, just like brothers fighting in a backyard. Uh, we'll, we'll get along. And today's news comes less than 24 hours after six buses went up in flames in this bus yard last night. Officials are now investigating. They're considering that suspicious, but they are not ruling it arson just yet. Now, we asked Nick Williams about the fire earlier this afternoon. He told us he didn't know too much about it, but said if he finds out any of his union members were involved, he would kick them out of the union immediately. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.